Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be giving you my 36 week update on my um, twin pregnancy. And a lot of other stuff that has happened in between my last video and this one. Um, and then towards the end, I'm going to give y'all my bare belly shot. So brace yourselves for that. So um, anyways, today I'm 36 weeks and four days. So I'm due to have my two boys um, December 11th, which is this Friday. And I have to go in, have to be there at 530. And then I think they'll get things started at 7. And then have my surgery by 7.30, I believe is what she said. Um, I went to the OB today. We got the baby's heartbeats. One is around 140. They're both in the 140s. So it was like 141 and 143, I believe. So they're doing good. Um, I was starting to get a bit paranoid because it's so close to the end. And with everything that's gone on or gone wrong in my pregnancy um it, it's made me like a bit paranoid and stuff so I'm like I w I'm scared to like make it to the end and something happens but um anyways the appointment went good and we just talked about um about the c-section and stuff like that and what time to be there I, I already know how really how it's gonna go because I've had two other c-sections so it's really like nothing new to me um but yeah, so that went good today. Um, I went to the ER. When did I go and what's today? Today is what, Tuesday? Okay, so I went to the ER last Friday because I woke up at 5 in the morning. I had contractions. And at first, like, they didn't hurt that bad. Um, and then they, start, they started to get more, um, I guess, painful or made me made my stomach more um tense or tight or whatever um so I started having contra I started timing them because I they were close together so some were like five minutes some were seven minutes some were 10 minutes they weren't that close but I did wait at least two hours before I decided to tell my fiance like hey I want to go to the hospital because I didn't want to go and them say that it was nothing and send me home so I did wait a while and then so <clears throat> I started timing them at five in the morning <clears throat> and then I went to the restroom probably like at 6 30 and I noticed I went I had to go pee I noticed there was blood on my on the toilet paper so I told him I was like hey okay we really need to go to the to the hospital and he's like, okay so we got my daughter dropped off and did all that stuff or picked up actually and we thought that that Friday was going to be the day. And, um, oh, and I had really bad back pain um, on Friday. Well, the five, at 5 in the morning, it was bad. But the night before, in the evening, I had really bad, bad back pain as well. Um, I sat in the hot shower. Like, I let the hot water run on my back. Which it didn't really help. But, um, anyways, I went in to the ER. Got checked in. And uh, something in my eye. <clears throat> I got checked in. Um, when I I went in, I used the restroom. Um, and my mucus plug came out, and I was like, "Oh hell, yep, today is the day." And I've never had my mucus plug come out. Like I've, I've had my two other pregnancies, and I went full term, and I never had contractions. I never had labor. Um. Maybe a little bit with my first one, but that's about it. But they, I think they gave me Pitocin. Um, <clears throat> so, like, this was all new to me. So, yeah, the the mucus plug came out. Um, so, I thought, yeah, like, that was it, too. Well, that, that day. Anyways, I get out of the, the, um, the restroom. And then the doctor's like, well, what's going on? I was like, well, I've been having a lot of contractions, back pain. I said, um, my mucus plug just came out. And she's like, oh, no, that's nothing. I was like, okay. So, um, anyways, they gave me an IV uh, or the liquids. 
or I guess to hydrate you. So they gave me that. And then my contractions started like, I guess going away. And so basically she said um, that they it was probably Braxton Hicks because um, of dehydration that you're probably just dehydrated. And um, I was like, okay, well, I drink a lot of <clears throat> water, so I don't see how I'm dehydrated, but okay, if that's what you say. And then um, she checked me down there, and I was already, um, well, I'm barely two centimeters dilated. So to, to them, that's really nothing. So um, yeah, I mean, we thought we we're going to have the babies that day, but we ended up not having them. Um, but they checked on them and everything was good. They just said I was dehydrated and then they sent me home. So that was that. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, so I get contractions every now and then. I had some today. They're getting a little worse, but nothing close together. Um, and I even told the lady, I was like, well, I'm not trying to have my babies here at the hospital. Like, I wanted them to take me. But, um, of course, like, I mean, if it's nothing, it's nothing. They're not, they're, I guess they don't want to take up the space. They need it for other people, so. But, anyways, yeah, I'm scheduled to have them this Friday, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm really scared. I need, I still need to pack my, I mean, I have some stuff in my hospital bag. Um, but I'm not done. I still, I still have some more stuff, um. We did some cleaning around the house so the house could be nice and fresh and clean for the babies or so we don't have to do anything. I did a lot of grocery shopping um, so I didn't have to go to the grocery store uh, for a few weeks. Um, everything's just and I we have their their little um, we're going to be having them sleep in a it's like a pack and play and it has like two twin bassinets in it so and it's right by my side on the bed because they're gonna be in the room with us during the day and then they'll go in their room their room or we'll go in their room wait at night with us and then during the day we'll be in their room so um yeah so i look over and i just i see like i'm like oh my god like soon we're gonna have two little babies in there and i just like look over at it and I, it's i don't know it kind of gets me emotional um, I think I'm going to be a really emotional that day too, because of how far that I've came. I feel like I wasn't supposed to get this far, but uh, I had a, a lot of faith in God and, um, stuff like that. So I know that's what actually got me this far as God. So, uh, yeah, so you always got to have faith. Um, but yeah, anything new about my symptoms? Not really. Same stuff heartburn um i can't i can't i could barely like turn side to side in the bed um if i get up to use the restroom i lay back down like a little dead fish and i don't i i kind of don't maybe it'll, i kind of move i kind of don't but because it hurts like my hips and my belly it hurts to move side to side so that's gotten worse um i feel more pressure down there um just try I've been getting more discharge and it's been like brownish but they said that's normal um still hands hurt uh, they don't look that big but to me they do um it, it happens in the middle of the night I could barely close them they get like really red my feet they're a little swollen not really bad but I noticed that some shoes don't are not fitting me like they were fitting me before so I know they're getting a little bigger um what else that's about it i'm just trying to relax um take naps get as much rest as i can and and eat and drink my protein shakes um because i'm trying to get these boys a little more fat and depth oh and i just found out oh i and i went to my mfm doctor i forgot to tell y'all um everything was good their dopplers were good and everything um their hearts and their weights one is six pounds two ounces and the other one is five pounds 15 ounces so he's almost six pounds and me and my fiance were thinking like well hopefully they're five pounds so like 
they were way over what we thought so we were real happy about that um i think when i was born i was like six pounds 13 ounces my last baby she was i think she was eight pounds eight pounds five ounces or maybe more and then my baby before that she was seven pounds ten ounces so i would be i mean they're twins so they're of course they're gonna be small i wish they were bigger but i think with that twin to twin transfusion stuff um maybe that's why they're a little small because i know i know if it was a single baby he or she would have been a lot bigger because i feel like the more babies you have the bigger they get and that's or maybe that's just with my body but um yeah so i'm happy with their weights hopefully that is what they weigh when they come out because i know the sonos could be off um so we'll see what happens um but yeah, I probably won't make another video, or I'll probably try to record us in the hospital if we can, um, and I'll make a video of um, getting to meet the babies and stuff like that. Their name, I'm not, we already have their names picked out. Um, one's going to be Camden, and he will be, I believe he'll be the first one to come out, so baby A, if they get baby A out first. And then Jackson will be the second one. And I was fighting with my fiance about the name Camden because I really like Maverick. Um, I don't know why. It just, I'm like, but I have the final say so. So don't piss me off that day or he's going to be named Maverick. Just kidding. But anyway, so it's Camden and Jackson. That's going to be the boy's name. Um, but like I said, I'll be doing another video um, after I have them. Or while I'm, um, or you know, the vlog thing, right when I'm having them, um, if I can. So, yeah, you'll get to see that. Um, if y'all have any questions, any comments, uh, just let me know below and I'll be happy to answer um, any of y'all's questions and hear y'all stories. Um, if there's any of y'all with twins, um, twins with the that had the uh, twin to twin transfusion, like I would love to hear y'all stories and how far y'all made it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Um, I'm running out of breath like I always do. So, like I promised, I'm going to show you my belly. Now I have a lot of stretch marks. Okay, so don't uh, be judgmental. But if you do, whatever, I don't care. It's my body. So, this is my belly. This is the 36 weeks. So, that's under the clothes. looks huge and this is my bare belly shot it's real oh my god there's the front um i have a scar here for when they did my laser ablation surgery it's gonna be with me forever i'm gonna cherish this uh, it's dark I have my belly button piercing right here took it out of course i feel a baby right here so I have my baby B, Jackson, he's still up here. Baby A, Camden, he's down, way down here. So, um, yeah, Camden's head down and Jackson doesn't want to come out. So they're probably like playing tug of war. But anyways, this is my belly. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you on my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.